Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that men call magic, and now these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. This place is the end of all things. And in the beginning.
all of time is meaningless here. Not a seconds, no centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. The one who walks here is all these. Cradle songs of comfort and bones and all about tea. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. Are you a nobleman, Corvo? No one seems to know much about you. By your bearing, I'd say so. Well, 
let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the house. Oh, Corvo? Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison, and I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. What can I do for you? to go. Just give the signal. go straight up Clavern Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Which is worse? Just take your pick. Let's go. It's nearly midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep him in the boat. Now's got enough shit in it as it is. last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. 
Well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs> what will I do now? Oh, fuck! Disgusting! One, two, three. Good. Keep them coming. Please. I'm a bit shaken right now. I saw some terrible things today. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The following businesses have been closed and impounded by the state due to contamination. Barrow's Barbershop and Surgery, the Duke and Dancer Ale House, Merritt's Printing Firm, Pennyworth's Tack and Saddle Emporium, and the Smoke Street Dice Hall. Attention, Dunwall citizens. John Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel area. Any citizens are liable to search or imprisonment at the discretion of the city watch. Mm, if I was a birdie, I'd want to eat that. Yes, I would. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder?
I think the little book, dear, is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them. And they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. Let us in, Granny. I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your washing. She's not... <laughs> what was that? Granny, Granny, come. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I think the little birdies are sad today. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely room carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard, or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. Are you sure? Because you know we have to check you over. And there's an inspection fee. To the void with Bottle Street and to the void with you. Let me out. Oh, you don't want to talk to us like that. Fact is, Bottle Street is here to take us a cut. To reach a 
into your pockets, and let's get this done. Yeah, and the inspection fee. We can't help it. Just the way we do things on Bottle Street. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Anyone there? Hey! Let me out! I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Huh? Special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We are... I'll flush you out. Got you now. Uh, watch it. Uh, uh, can't say it. Flank him. Here, get around him. On the watch. Get it. Feed him to the house.
door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Someone there? He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring...
goddamn devil somehow. Oh, I'm gonna run. <laughs> Doubting an ordinary man, touched by the outsider he is, given dark powers. He can slit your throat across the room. Well, that'd give him a leg up for sure. It's no coincidence that most men won't even whisper his name. Is it true that he lives in the flooded district? With them weepers and wild hounds? That's what they say. Perfect place for a paid killer to hide. Huh? like a hagfish. Yeah, hey, nice. don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixirs done. He'll want to check on you. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. Not fast enough.
So it goes. Not to the Abbey or the Office of the High Overseer, but one of the other places. Where they train the Overseers to be real good. Crazy. He just wants to know where his brother's going. He sneaks it. You know, Eddie, throw you in at it when he's sober. I remember. Brimsley job, hitting the dumbwaiter all night. Yeah, so he goes from room to room, kids sleeping. An overseer giving a lecture to the kid. Everyone's dies. Stuff But it gets weird. Some kind of machine. And a woman laughing, just laughing and laughing. Then music, a kind of plinky, plonky sound. Backwards. <laughs> wasn't drunk. Says he still hears it at night. He never can find his blood. <laughs>
I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. Never watch. Never, never, never. I could feel, feel the pre age in I told you, peel it off. Peel it off. They are burning any ways. Attention, watchmen. This district is now considered a highly infected area. Residents are to be escorted to adjacent neighborhoods or delivered for immediate deportation to the flooded district. Remain in position until qualified personnel have completed the removal of infected bodies. Gate man on. You can help me. What's it look like? Blow off, Hayburn. Go on. Toss the damn rat already. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> huh? The second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? <laughs> what a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. I have poor circulation and I seem to have... <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. 
and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kernow. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. I was just reading in the archive about the heretic's brand. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. A former member of our order, of course. Out of his eyes. Fishing. Inside. Baking. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer. Or even the high overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. <clears throat> Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry huh? about such matters. I will. <laughs> us in here. I've told you a hundred times. Campbell is upstairs meeting with the captain of the watch. He'll be busy for hours.
May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. I was just reading in the archive about the heretic's branch. It sounds good. Have you ever seen a rich I've never seen the heretic's branch in the first time. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did have a size. A former man of our order walks. Out on a retreat, we passed through the fishing and saw him. Ah, what were his crimes? Who can say he dies? The brand is reserved for an overseer. <laughs> or even the high overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, brother. Huh? Guards can't even walk there at night on account of Slack and Jaws operation. having trouble holding the side streets. Bunch of children playing here. Me. Must have been in here. Let me see.
I trust your truth. I hear the launch is having trouble Sneaky. holding the side streets. Bunch of children playing games, that's all it is. Watch it! Oh. And the meat, Callista, isn't it? I'm very concerned about her. She'll be found. My men are searching district by district. I trust you. I hear the watch is having trouble holding the side streets. A bunch of children playing games, that's all it is. Good, good. And your niece, Callista, isn't it? I'm very concerned. She'll be found. My men are searching district by district. The poor girl. Callista's a resort. Probably found a safe place to hold up in all this chaos. If my overseers hear any word, I'll come straight to you. Time for drinks. I hope you won't refuse. It'll make this business pass all the quicker. Servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now if you'll join me. Men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. Now, to business. What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's Alley is a sea of blood and teeth. I almost wish I'd been there. Tivian, you say? A bit dry. Now, I know you'll agree that we can't allow word of overseer <coughs> behaving this way to reach the populace. You can't seriously expect me to... <coughs> Campbell, this wine's rather strong. Is it? You're not a lightweight, are you? I can't feel my hands. Really? Feel yourself dying, you ridiculous parasite? What did you say? <laughs> Campbell. She'll be found. My men are searching district by district. The poor girl. Callista's a resourceful one. Probably found a safe place to hold up in all this chaos. If my overseers hear any word, I'll come straight to you. Time for drinks. I hope you won't refuse. It'll make this business pass all the quicker. The servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now if you'll join me. Men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained. Good time. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. Now, to business. 
What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's Alley is a sea of blood and teeth. I almost wish I'd been there. <laughs> Take it easy there, old son. I'm all right, Colonel. But down the wrong way. Now about these overseers. Or just as guilty as my own men, if not more. But my overseers have a name to protect. I can't allow you to... This can't be happening. Who's done this? What on earth are you talking about? No time, no time. Listen carefully. You must instruct the Lord Regent to burn the Black Book. Understand? Burn it! What Black Book? What do you mean? Tell him. Warn them. And then die. Play, you useless incompetent. I never like... Oh. She's my sister. She's not a witch. I know her. Out of the way. You expect preferential treatment just because you are her brother? She will burn. All witches must burn. Bertold, don't let them take me. I swear I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> Die, idiot! <laughs> You appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. We are forever in your debt. I cannot thank you enough. I must get my sister to safety. But first, I may know of a way to thank you. There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Take what you want, and good luck. Samuel. From the way I hear it, 
Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. I want to congratulate you. My uncle's been killed, hasn't he? I know he never came back from the meeting with High Overseer Campbell. I don't know why I expected anything else. If this is going to work, we have to Attention. take down the Lord all Regent and all of his the... You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, and step out as the hero who further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. <laughs> 